when you walk down the street, does it seem like every other person has got the white earbuds in their ear? Podcasting terms like that make you, it's almost hard to believe that iPods have only been around for about five years, but they won't have the streets to themselves much longer if Microsoft has its way. We get more from NBC's Lisa Daniels. What do you listen to? Are you ready? If it seems like iPods are everywhere, that's because they are. Apple's player has captured 80% of the portable music player market and penetrated popular culture. The new iPod Pequeño. It holds a million songs. But if reports are true, Microsoft soon plans to take a bite out of the Apple by introducing its own competing device. There's a lot of money in digital music. There's money in selling the players, there's money in selling the music. Microsoft wants to be where the money is. How much money? Apple made about $1.7 billion selling iPods in its last quarter. And iTunes brought in about $485 million selling songs. I want money. Other companies like Samsung and Dell have taken on the iPod before without much success. Then again, they weren't the world's largest software maker. I think that Microsoft has as good a chance as anyone else does to compete in the MP3 space. I think that they bring a strong brand to it. But it won't be easy. The one thing they have to do to compete with Apple, they've got to come up with the music, and then they've got to make the player hip. And that's going to be tough because Microsoft's not known for hip. Already rumors are circulating that Microsoft's planned player will feature wireless internet access and a better quality screen than the iPod. The competition isn't just over who will dominate the digital music market. It's also about who will dominate the video market. Here at Apple's flagship store in Manhattan, these video iPods are the latest hot seller. Will come out on top? It's too early to tell, but experts say the real winner may be you. I think consumers will benefit because it could drop the price of the music, it could drop the price of the player, and it might make things easier to use. And that would make both companies the apple of any consumer's eye. For today, Lisa Daniels, NBC News, New York. I am shameless. I'm on my fifth iPod now. Really? I'm a every, every time a new feature, I feel the need get, to get it. Get the yeah. new one. You've got, got the, the video iPod, yes, too. Yes, love it. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm a nano lost. girl. Out the office, all those. All they, right. they are ubiquitous. Still to come on today, the truth about all those cars.